Folks, today we are playing a custom scenario in Fallout Wasteland Warfare, uh, and I'm probably going to get my ass kicked uh, right after this. <laughs> Hey everybody, so I'm here from Tabletop Hub. I'm here with Ben. Uh, today we are playing Fallout Wasteland Warfare uh, at long last. This is our our first uh, battle report, which means it's probably going to be pretty rough around the ages. A wee bit. A wee bit. Uh, we're probably going to get rules wrong. We're probably going to get a lot of stuff wrong. So please keep us right in the comments. But today we're playing a custom scenario. This is uh, a scenario that I've created to kind of allow players to recreate the last flight of the USS Constitution quest line from Fallout 4. So let's give you a breakdown on today's game. Repel the Borders is the first scenario in the last flight of the USS Constitution quest line. Nora and Dogme have come across a crash-landed Civil War ship that is inhabited by a crew of robots led by a sentry bot called Captain Ironsides. The peace and quiet, however, is quickly interrupted when a group of raiders launch an all-out assault on the ship to capture it as their own. The aim of this scenario is simple. For Nora and Ironside's crew, they must stop the raiders from entering into base-to-base -base contact with the ship at all costs for six rounds. Either side can equally win if they wipe out the opposing team. When it comes to board setup, each side will deploy on opposite ends of the game board, with the USS Constitution being placed in the deployment zone of Captain Ironside's team. In the middle of the map, a collection of buildings will create a crossroads and central roadway that will lead directly to the USS Constitution, and you're going to want to generously place some scatter terrain around the game board to give both sides plenty of cover to work with. When it comes to team composition today, Ben has spent 360 points on the defenders to deploy Nora the sole survivor with a 10mm pistol, dog meat equipped with dog bite, and finally a battered sentry bot who will be acting as Captain Ironsides and who is equipped with a deadly minigun. On my team with the raiders, I spent 325 points to deploy a veteran raider with raider power armor and a bolt action pipe rifle, and then the bulk of my force is made up of a raider outlaw, a raider, and two psychos all equipped with pipe pistols. All of the models used in today's scenario are available on the Tabletop Hub store, as well as the PDF for this scenario, which you can download for free. We'll leave links for all of these in the video description, but now let's get back into the action. I'm quite excited about this. It's nice to kind of recreate something from a game that you know we both played and we yes. really, really enjoy. And it's just, I think it's, it's a really interesting kind of start to this kind of, was it five campaigns in total? I yes, so there, there's five scenarios in this whole thing, um, and it can be played as you know, five individual campaigns. Um, you can play them solo, you can play them with AI, uh, and I, I'm going to try and develop them and flesh them out a little bit for the RPG campaign as well. So you can actually fully play this with uh, with your team. If you come with other settlements and then you kind of use the settlement cards. Absolutely. That too, that, yeah. um, so if you play through all five of these and you win all five scenarios, you will have earned yourself and your settlement 1,000 caps in total. Um, this scenario right here, I think it's 150 caps or 100 caps that this scenario was worth uh, if you win. So if you're playing as a Raiders like myself, I would win 100 caps for my rusty boys over here. Uh, and you, <laughs> your gang, <laughs> the, rusty boys. the rusty boys. I see. I like that. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. You should paint that one. Uh, yeah, this, this is the the rusty boy gang. We're coming in to steal all your metal um, and your copper and sell it off. Shall we get stuck in? That's fantastic. Uh, get my my pain over with. <laughs> so, because Ben has less models than I do, he gets to uh, activate first, uh, and that's how activation works in Fallout with some Warfare. So, who would you like to activate first? I'm going to go with the uh, battered sentry. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, of course you are. With we've got now, so we obviously have our little um, ammo token in here because he has yep. this mini gun. This is a slow firing gun, so yes. we can only fire it once per. Um, activation, yeah, yeah, and this is it. So I'm going to fire. Oh, no. I just think so. We're going to just going to place this one on here, which means that he's, he's obviously going to have fired. Yeah. And then, oh, keep that on your um, on your weapon card. On the weapon card, not on the. Ah, okay, that's fine. So we have a double black range just to make sure that this is actually going to work. Am I just out? I don't think I am. It would be too perfect if I. <sighs> Yeah, of course, all of them are in range. And then, um, yeah, and then there's no <laughs> actual blocking of line of sight either. I have a clear... <sighs> on that one, yes. On, the, on that one, yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to go for... <laughs> <That's>, I'm trying <laughs> to find ways to be like, how can I not The, the die. little psycho raider on the side. Yes. So we're going to go with... So at long range, I have... Um, no bonus dice, so... I have no bonus dice at all. Oh, wow. You only... 
you only get your skill check dice. One thing to note about the um, minigun though is that it is a, uh, I can't remember the proper name for it now, it's walk, uh, walked under fire, or fire, you can walk and fire um, is the technical term for the icon, but in essence, um, Ben gets to fire his minigun five times. So it's like a, because there's so many bullets that are gonna be coming out of it. Yep, uh, so we're gonna go, so we, we're gonna aim for, uh, your psycho there, yes. and so with that one, I need to get a five or less on my skill check. <sighs> so we want. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's not going well. <laughs> well. You see, all of them are going to die first go. So yes, it does one damage, one damage which yes. isn't too bad. I have uh, armor of two, so I need to roll two or less. Yes. Well done. So you blocked it. I blocked that one. Okay, so, one. <laughs> so we're going to fight again at the same character again. Yeah. That's a crit. Oh no! So now I get to roll two of the um, two yellow dice. Two yellow dice here. And then... So the cap bottle doesn't do anything for the minigun. Oh! But I take one, so we remove three of your armor. So we. I have no armor. Have... So I, I only have two armor. <laughs> so you take a uh, three damage. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this is good, and I still have three more shots. No! Okay. Uh so this is this is a good psycho. Your psycho is is gonna be psych psycho. This here we go. Next yeah. one. seven. Okay, missed. That's good. So we have two more. Two more. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the all right, he's dead. Up. He's dead. Then all right, you're. <laughs> and then you have no more armor. So <laughs> why did I? <laughs> so we have the psycho has been removed. Doctor psycho has been removed. Fantastic. On. Now I still have one more shot. And where oh, sorry, the, yeah, I the psycho was? On. Yeah, you would. Uh, so if you keep uh, I that here, there. I think so I can, it's like area of effect. Yes. So I can shoot your radar. Yes. Here now. However, <laughs> oh, I'm, thankfully. Yes, I think you have a little bit of. Uh, I have one piece of cover. One piece of cover here, which I will take. You will take. <laughs> <one>. I will. <laughs> so, I therefore, in order to get uh, this one, I have a reduction in two. I think that there's one piece of. Yes. And then you gain one to your armor. I do. So which gives him, gives her three armor, which <clears throat> three. isn't great. Uh, but, but I need to get a three or less. Yes. <clears throat> which, that is the quick action icon, which I believe doesn't count. Let me see. I th this result counts as a result of one. Oh, so it's a hit? Yeah. Fantastic. So it does a hit, so I, do, so I don't roll a critical, so therefore then it is... So I need to do one damage, so what does your armor... Oh, yes. Actually, so we'll explain that. So, because the battered sentry bot ruled the cog icon, uh, the cog icon typically on, on any of the other dice counts as a quick action, which enables you to take a quick action. However, in this instance, because you're looking to roll a skill check and you need a numerical value, the cog uh, icon counts as one. So he unfortunately passes his test. You do one damage. One damage. Uh, I have three armor because of the, the two plus the, the cover. One. Yep. <laughs> and I rolled a four, which means oh, yeah. <laughs> that so, I don't block any of that one. <laughs> Actually, that one. I'll just I'll use uh, this yeah, one for my dead okay, psycho. No uh, so she is now down to three health. And that is my. <laughs> <sighs> that wasn't the great, the greatest first turn. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. So, um, and the psycho was my fastest moving character as well. Uh, right, so first of all, uh, I'm going to move my uh, my Scaver Outlaw. Oh, actually, is that the best course of action? Yes, it is. We're going to do it anyway. I'm going to move my Scaver Outlaw behind cover, uh, and then as the, uh, oh, pardon me, uh, the second action. Are you in range? You're not. <laughs> I'm just going to leave him there. Just gonna leave him there. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's good. <laughs> I'm nervous. Okay, I am now going to move. Uh, we're gonna get dog meat. Mm -hmm. So he has a nice little red red one in here. Of course so. he does. Of course he does. Dirty dogs. Why wouldn't he? I am going to. We're gonna try like something. So we're gonna move. Oh. You sneaky. <laughs> and here, and that's his first one. And then the second one, I have to move past you. Yeah. 
So how do we move around corners here? We can move so, up to anywhere in this, can't we? Yeah, but so you're if you're moving around a corner, um, you can move dog meat up to the point where he's around the corner. Yep, and then you rotate it around, and then he would be there. there. Fantastic, thank you. Um, so this is the thing about movement is that you can move up to the full extent of your ruler um, as long as there's no uh, obstructions. Uh, so dog meat has, like the good boy he is, sneakily ran around the corner of that building. <sighs> Obstructing him from view. Um, <laughs> so... I not want to obstruct my view there, Todd. Wow. So I'm going to get my veteran raider. Okay, you're going to get him moving. Yeah, we're going to move... Jimmy, he's got the power. I'm, I'm concerned about him. Yes. He's got the potential to do some significant... Uh, and they're now behind the cover, trying to break some of that, um, that ground. Bear in mind, the goal for me here is that within six rounds, I just need one of my models to touch base with the ship in order to win. Um, so the the tricky thing is trying to cover ground versus trying to survive. <laughs> um, like I could just bolt it, but that minigun is, oh my goodness. <laughs> and obviously the closer you get, it then starts to be able to yeah. do further damage and further yeah. breaking armor. I'm just gonna move my sole survivor. Yeah. Just to here. That's cool. Cool. Um, in there. And then that is what they're going to do this time. Interesting. So, uh, because I have two models left and you've now uh, activated all of yours, we'll, we'll just whack some of mine out. We're going to activate the uh, Raider, get them within base to base contact of this piece of cover as well, because cover is my friend. Uh, and then. Oh, you're not going to be in cover. So, I'm going to move the uh, rear outlaw behind these guys. He's not in, well, he's not technically in cover, but if the minigun does try to fire at him, there is going to be a piece of cover blocking that view, so I will get some okay. form of benefit. Yes. yes. Um, that is all models activated uh, and, and used. So we're going to take all of our tokens Thank off. Uh, that is the first round over. Now... I think that round went well for me. Hmm? I think that round went well for me. I think I've got to well, say that. As round ones go, <clears throat> I've shot once and, and, and killed one of you. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. And thankfully you took the uh, not unfinished model off the board, so I now the board looks better. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice of me to do it. Oh, well, thank you very much, yeah. No, no problem at all. Uh, aesthetics is important. Um, now, at the end of every round, apart from the first one, you flip over a little event card, which is kind of like an atmospheric type thing. So uh, we will unfortunately not get to see those until next turn. Next turn? Okay. Next round even. So I go first again, you I get have the least again. amount of troops. Unfortunately, yes. At the minute, all of your models, I'm pretty sure, maybe Nora? No, Nora is now within range of my raiders, the, the rusty boys. Um, <laughs> I think we're going to stick with that. It's just so sick <laughs> the Rusty um, Boys are moving in closer on, on Nora. Uh, but the, the Captain Ironsides is, is really safely tucked away in the ship there. While Ben's thinking, I'll chat you through some of the other uh, missions uh, or scenarios that are in this, this quest line. So this is the first one, Repel the Borders. Uh, the next scenario that you would do is uh, Captain Ironsides needs you to pick up the Poseidon Relay. Um, so that scenario I think is called Come Forth Poseidon uh, and you gotta kind of loot an area. It's really, a, a, especially if you're playing the Salmon uh, deck and playing through that kind of campaign, it's a scenario where you get to pick up a ton of loot because it's gonna be a very loot heavy scenario with tons of stuff for you to pick up. Um, you can play that solo where you will go to loot uh, and any searchable icon that you flip over will spawn a certain amount of vermin and creatures. Um, much like it does uh, in the game when you're, you're looking for good loot and rad roaches appear. Uh, but you can play it versus as well, in that you're trying to search for the Poseidon Relay, Brotherhood of Steel are searching for it as well. Um, in essence, this whole quest line is building up to a massive fight at the end where it's a massive army of raiders, uh, it's Captain Ironsides, the survivors, uh, and a little group of robots. Uh, because you've repaired the ship at this stage, the ship is actually one of the playable characters in that it has three cannons on board, which will use the same stats as a, as a missile launcher. Uh, and if you use your uh, tech skill, you can activate those cannons uh, and fire, um, which is why the raiders in that scenario will have a lot more 
numbers at that stage to try. Lots more numbers. The rusty, yeah, the rusty, rusty boys, boys will have to breed. Uh, <laughs> lots of breeding. Yeah, yeah, lots of breeding. Okay. Well, okay. I think I think I've got an idea now for what I'm going to be doing here. Now. Okay. So I'm going to fire the minigun. A lot of thought went into <laughs> trying to. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, um, yeah, I can so, see. So, so, so we're going to go there. So, so again, we, we, we're going to be going to start with my no, first. No, I keep clumping up. <laughs> So we're going to go for this character here. Um, okay. He's under armour, he's behind, not armour, I'm sorry, behind to some shelter there. Yes. So definitely has that one, so therefore then I'm going to be doing a skill shit against three. Okay, so here we go, let's have a little go. Please don't roll criticals. This. That's a feel, okay. Complete fail. That's a feel, brilliant. Another fail. Uh, yeah, that's good, three more. <laughs> wow, these are epic That fails. is brilliant, that's brilliant. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, have you just changed the... Uh, yeah. No, 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 I, no, I didn't do it. Wow. I would love to know where the bullets went. Because if I was aiming him, surely the stats or something, he like, this is it. Unfortunately, that did not go according to... Um, for you. According to plan. Yeah, for you, it didn't go... For me, that was beautiful. And we're going to keep him on that one there, just... Yeah. There's a little bit of comfort there. Yeah. Okay for the moment, okay. The rusty boys praise the rust gods. <laughs> Uh, for protecting them once more. Um, oh. So, because he's in the open, we're going to move the Raider Outlaw. I'm going to activate him for two movements. Uh, and then just tuck him in behind there. And he That's a is nice, nicely spent. tucked in behind there. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, I'm going to take dog meat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> His first turn there, and then we're going to be charging. Charge is a is it a first action? Let me double check. I could be wrong. No, I think you, I think you can. Yeah. So it's on the bottom there. I think you could charge him. Was okay then. Yeah. So I think we'll do two it. Two actions because he's charging because it's like literally yeah uh, to attack. So he's like yeah. going in to kind of bite. Well, you. you'll uh, you'll save your when you charge. You get a uh, bonus. bonus dice for your next attack. So you'll save it for. For the next, next one. So we're going to charge because he has the blue one to charge in. He will definitely. Yep. Oh, flip! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so there's no issue about so engaging on uh, hand to hand, and then now we get the option, don't we? So on the charge, we either have a we see a little green one mm -hmm. or a little black dice. Now the green dice does the skill check. Yes. So the green is accuracy, uh, and the black is damage. So, so uh, you can, what you want to do when deciding with. Um, with what bonus dice you want. With dog meat, I think whenever we've played before, we always usually pick the damage dice because he has a good chance of actually, uh, he has a high melee skill, which is eight, eight. Uh, eight. and the, the dice goes exactly up to what I was 10. going to do, so, so I was going to go with the black one, so I'm going to place it perfect. on his dog bite for his. Yes. Has he charged? Yeah, wonderful, thank you very much. That's okay. So I, I have a couple of options here. Um, one is that well, I have three options. I can leave this raider to be chewed up by dog meat. <laughs> Tempting as it is. <laughs> yeah, this is um, I can move one of my other raiders from cover into cover again and outnumber dog meat. I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't... Well, actually, I, I would be able to get into base space combat. Um, or alternatively, I can move a raider uh, and just fire. Um, The raider thing to do would be to just fire at them. And if I hit my own guy, sure. <laughs> that's, that's the Rusty Boy's way, isn't it? It is the Rusty Boy's way, just uh, spray and pray. Um, but <laughs> Great tagline, you go along here. Rusty, rusty Boys, boys spray, spray and pray, it's on their sigil. Um, which is just a big rusty pipe or something. <laughs> yeah, uh, flip. You know what, dog meat? You've had this coming for a while. And I want to get this character <laughs> away, so... Are you trying to kind of get them out of the way, are you? It, it kind of. So I'm going to... Uh, I have to be very careful how I do this. I'm going to act, move once into base-to-base -base combat, or base-to-base -base with my raider, uh, and you, whenever you move into base-to-base -base combat with something, you get the swing move. Yes, that's right, yeah. So I can move around the base of my raider... Oh, crap. To engage, yep. To engage with dog meat. And with my second action, I'm going to use my pipe pistol and just try and butt you in the head. Okay. Um, now, because I'm using my ranged weapon in melee, you get the same um, 
or you would get the same benefits as if I was shooting at you from cover. Cover, yep. So it's minus two to my skill test, so it's two points harder, and you get one extra armor. So because you're outnumbered, I gain one green accuracy dice, so it tries to counteract that. Right, so you will lose two, but you get a gain and gain a green accuracy yes. dice. Yes. So you are rolling. Uh, so for the raider, um, I am... <laughs> so my base stat is perception for the pipe pistol, which is four, <gasps> which isn't great. Um, so then because I'm using my pipe pistol, then I need to roll two, but I get a green accuracy dice. Hopefully that'll, pardon me, that'll counteract that. So and I'm not with feeling... the pipe pistol, because you're in the, the close range, do you get the two? I would get black uh, as well, yeah. No. But we'll, we'll roll these two and then see, see if I... See if you actually hit or not. <laughs> it's, it's not looking... I don't feel hopeful, shall we say. That's and a feel. Missed. That's a feel. <clears throat> so nothing happens. Um, Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Dog meat is safe this time. For now. For now. For now. Do you know what? No, I'm gonna, we're going to move. We're going to move. We're gonna oh. Move. So we're, we're going to go. We can't measure things. I know we're not going to measure things in advance here, so I'm going to try and... Oh, no, you can measure. I'll let you measure things. You'll let me measure things. And then if I lose, that's why, I'll, why I lost. It's fine. So look, ah, so we're yeah. We're looking very, very close in there. Once yes. So if I'm going to have to... Because realistically, you're going to be honest in here. That 10 mil pistol doesn't have as... I mean, it's it's not great range. It really is not a particularly good Especially in that, whenever you're looking at close quarters, it's... Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I don't think you need to jump over that. You could totally just go... I mean, your yellow movement, yeah? Yes. So, I mean... Just running around the side of it there, you're going to say. Yeah. I mean, what we'll say is you, you just went there or whatever, and then... And then you swing it around. Yeah. To kind of to there. Then. We won't be... Uh, I won't be that harsh on you. And again, if, if you end up winning, that's why. That's I'll, why. Okay. So many reasons why you're going to win. Uh, <laughs> And then we're going to shoot. Okay. So I have that. You're definitely now. I'm definitely in range. You're in range. Okay. Both of them are as well. So yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go for the first one in there. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much of a cover do you think he's got? A little bit of cover in there. <clears throat> of course, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> what is the definition of cover in there? Because he's kind of like. He's I would say you know he's kind of like half and half. Although I think I maybe have knocked this so. So it probably would have been like yeah, okay, there. So there we go. Then that's that. So we, we, we that's yeah. Fair. We'll say it's I'll covered that one. You give me the little extra movement in there to get yeah, it to yeah, shoot. Yeah. So I would <laughs> very nice of you in that one in there. So basically, I'm running with this, so I don't get a black. And then, do we roll all the dice at the same time, or is it always the skill check first before? I th I think you're meant to roll the skill check first, and then you roll everything else. But I don't think, it, in my eyes, it doesn't really make it much of a difference. I don't think so. But with uh, with my 10 mil pistol, what we've got here is I have a black and a Green. Green dice to add to oh. it so that helps with the skill check. And what so, do you what's your base value? Uh, Seven. Seven, so I'm oh getting the fives. Goodness. Five to hit. Which you get. So basically I do a quick activation. Now I have no obviously great activation, that gives me one. Mm -hmm. So minus two and minus one just means I would have to You would have passed it. Anyway. I would have passed it in here. So yeah. therefore then I've hit you with two damage. Two damage. Now um, because you're shooting into a crowd, I'm not sure if this just meant you have, we have to do this when you miss. Um, ah, yes. So, because you're shooting into a crowd, and the crowd is both of my models, um, oh, we'll be fine, we'll just roll it because there's only two. Uh, the way that you work this is that you assign a number between one and four to each of the models in that combat. Because there's only two, it'll be one, two, three, four. Okay. So Positive one and three, use. two and four. Yes. Positive. Roll to see who you hit. One. one. To be honest, that is actually best because this this lady has one wound already. <laughs> so, how much damage you do? Two, two damage. Two damage. So you then have to roll. Roll for my armor. I I could block it if I roll lucky enough, which I do. I block all damage. <laughs> okay. Everything's coming up rusty. This turn has definitely gone so far to you. Yes, gone, I've so missed, far. I've missed everything so far. This is. I like. I like you say everything so far has gone to me. What you mean by that is no one else has died. So I mean, it's. Uh... <laughs> I haven't done any damage. I've just missed. Okay, so then you have two characters left to to to. Uh... Yes, and I might try and seize this opportunity with the veteran raider because you're now within short range of my bolt action pipe rifle. Yes. So I'm going to use both of my actions to shoot at Nora. Okay. Um, now I get a yellow dice uh, and a green dice uh, because you're in short range. Uh, okay. And I need to roll 
four. The rusty boy is a bit rusty with his um, practice of uh... incredibly rusty. <laughs> I didn't. I forgot how crap the Raiders are. <laughs> I should. Yeah, it's is. like having an army of stormtroopers, basically. Yes. And wow. Which we get. Wow. So Just, um, I'm going to say wow again. That that was like you rolled uh, zero. I, I mean, the two with no, the minus two. Others, that is that is an epic roll. Queen of the Rusties. Um, so that's going to do two damage. So therefore, then with my, I have three armor. Oh, yeah, so, there you, so you, you could end up blocking all of this. Uh, okay. So I block block uh, one. one. So I take one damage. Yes. Okay. And then I'm going to fire again. Okay. Come on, rusty boys. That uh, Six, five. Five. Yeah, that is miss. nothing. So I missed my second shot. But okay. you know, we we landed one. You hit one. That's that's perfect for you. Uh, so we will mark that one. Good. Um, and then we have your radar. Yes. Now, the raider does not have line of sight on dog meat. No. Uh, but so, friendly, so friendly people don't come into. I think. They don't count out. I don't think they count. Um, I I think. Oh no! <laughs> He's not in range. <laughs> so you were going to have a couple of couple of pop shots. I was, there. and now I get nothing. So move around for the first action. Uh, he's going to move. To there. Oh no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then that was going to be an issue with the, the, we getting cover there to block. You yes, were because yes, there was an, an object in the in the way. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> um. You know what? We're going to risk it. We're going to take the shot anyway, even though there is a point of cover. So it will be. Two points harder for me to on my yep. skill okay. check. You'll gain plus one armor. You're definitely within range. Um, that one in there. So. Yeah, I need to roll a four. Okay. Uh, but you are within short range, so I get two damage dice. Oh, so wow. if if I can land this, it, there's a chance to do decent damage. Oh wow! Which I land. I rolled a cog, and, so uh, and a minus, minus one, one anyway. So uh, the cog counts as a one. So I do pass. And I do one extra damage, so it's two, two damage. damage. It's not a lot of damage. So I have up to potential four, because I have three naturally. So as long as I roll a four yeah. or less, yes. I block all oh, of Oh no. <laughs> so I think that means I roll a one, so I only block one of the damage. I should have thought about that before oh. I roll an attack. <laughs> okay then, but I still take a damage, because I did that. If I rolled anything else, yeah. two or more, I would have been fine. Yeah. That, that's, 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 that's not great for me. But. Good shot. So, but you you have got seven health. You're now down to five. So you're yes. still pretty healthy. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling yeah. pretty good. Okay, so that's yeah. round two complete. I have four more rounds to try and get into base this combat and survive that minigun. But because it's round two, we now flip over an event card to see what happens. So Diamond City Radio is the event. The soft music of Diamond City Radio playing from somewhere in the rubble fades out as, and the announcer can be heard. Okay, so uh, I guess at this point, it's safe to say the Brotherhood of Steel is uh, going to be uh, sticking around. You probably noticed the giant airship. That's it. That's our. Ooh, that's what's nice. Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, Brotherhood of Steel is somewhere out there. Very nicely with because the... they're coming for the next sunrise. They're coming for the lights. It's <laughs> almost as if we planned. No, we totally didn't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, sir. What? Flat or four? Well, 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 yes. That's brilliant. Okay, so I still have less. Troops than you. You don't have to remind me. I just, just, well, it just, I just I don't want that to be. I just want to have minigun me and be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think I've got the urge to do that just okay. just, just yet. I'm, I'm going. I'm dog meets there. He is He's there. He's charged in. He has. We have somebody who's now base to base combat with him. Who's but got two people here in base to base. Sorry. Yes, and, and, and yes, and and um, and uh, and someone already has taken some damage, and I have an extra attack <sighs> on there. He's, he's got quite a few dice to roll as it is. <sighs> so um. I'm going to attack. Fine. Twice. Fine. So, um, we're going to be doing up against this person here, which is a raider here. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, I do my skills check, and then I also have, with the dogs only, do I get all of those dice then? You do. So I get, because it's random, so I have this one, I have the yellow dice. You have I, the yellow, the green, and, and the two blue. black? And oh, a, and the blue, and, and the black. And the blue and the black. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that Dogmeat was so powerful. Uh, yeah, he gets a lot of dice. He, gets, he does. Dogmeat's a great character for this very reason, for close to close combat. Okay, ready? So here we go. That's a critical. And it's a critical as well. This is exciting. So, we, 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 we have, 
I get to roll an extra black dice. <sighs> Just to see what this does. Oh, oh this is fantastic. So we get uh, now what is the nuclear bomb? It looks like a, <laughs> it looks like a nice little um I can't work it out. It looks like a powerless cordless screwdriver. Oh, uh, I think I that, is, not an that inflicts an injury onto my raider. I'm going to be honest with you, Ben. I don't think you need to worry about that because I think they're dead. Um, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that would inflict an injury, but we'll deal with that if they survive this, which I think is highly doubtful. Well, look at what we'll see. So we have, um, I have four damage because I have two damage from my critical, yeah, and then the two extra damage which does four damage. Yes. Uh, and then we have uh, one reduction in armor. Yes, so, so you're character. attacking the raider, was it? Yes, it was indeed. So one. I can only block... One. <laughs> and how much health does he have left? Three. So, uh, it, so regardless, he'll he'll die. He'll uh, die. Yeah, uh, okay, but so. we'll roll for the armor anyway. He deserved to die. He deserved to die. No, wait, I, well, yeah, no, he deserved to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's farewell. Now. Yes, so now he has now... And I shall have one attack left. <laughs> <laughs> now, unfortunately, that wasn't the charge. The charge icon has been, yes. has so we been can used, so that, that take that one away. Right? So we're gonna, and the black dice as well here, because that is neither for this one in here. Mm -hmm. So we now get to attack the other raider. Yes. Uh, now, we roll a seven, uh, and he needs to roll an eight or less, so he succeeds. <laughs> I thought that was a... <laughs> I mean, oh. But he had a minus one anyway, so yeah. he would have been fine there. So we've won in armor. Now we have two symbols. Yes. We have a bottle and a star. So, so the star means that you can do a quick action. The bottle means that um, you do not trigger a reaction. Action. Yes. So I do two damage, mm -hmm. um, and I have removed one of your... Armor, so I now have one armor. One armor. But he's at full health. He was oh. at full health, uh, so I do one damage. I, all I do is one damage right, yep. to you. And then that is dog meats. Good grief. Hey, good news for you. We have the same number of trees. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do. <laughs> uh, so now that we have the same number, it'll go back and forth. Uh, so I'll get to actually. That's assuming that you don't kill anybody. Well, well support, yes, right? or, and I don't kill myself uh, somehow. Uh, <laughs> With the rusty nail that you stick on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so I mean, you're you're within short range of this one. Yes. Dog meat is within range of this one. Yes. Our veteran raider is going to try and do some more damage to Nora to try and clear up this central passageway we're going, for us. We're going to try to remove the sole survivor here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you're within a short range. So I get a yellow and a green. Okay. Uh, I need to roll. Four or yes. less, which I oh, do. I roll a no. critical. <laughs> oh. It's coming up rusty. So I, because I roll a critical, I do two damage. Um, but you get extra rolls. I do. I get um, a black dice and a yellow dice. So, so I do. Two extra damage, that's a total of four damage. Four damage and one armor reduction. So I move down to two armor, mm -hmm. so therefore I can block at maximum two. Which I do. So I take, <laughs> I take now <laughs> two damage, but you have another chance to hit me, unfortunately. Yes. So, so I've now gone from seven down to four, four three left. Three. I've only got three, three, three and a half left there. Come on, rusty boys. And that's a feel. That's a that's a fantastic roll. Actually, I think oh, I think it's close to what happened last turn with this guy. He hit the first one and missed the second. He did. He did. Um, it's consistent, if nothing else. Exactly. So, what we're going to do here mm -hmm. is we. I, I feel as though Nora is is struggling here a little bit. A little so bit. We need to do something epic here. Oh. So, what we're going to do? Oh no. We're, we're going to go behind the cover. Yeah. <laughs> we're just this <laughs> naked gun <laughs> style. Just yes, this is it. But I think that gives me a clear shot. That does give you... Ah, but you also have a chance to hit dog meat. Because you're firing into a crowd. Is that a risk you want to take? Yes. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go... Because she may not be around much longer, so we need to... That's true. You know, we need to kind of push on in here yep. and... and and I'm not going to do this whole pop up, pop down, pop up, pop down. <laughs> Are you to, sure? I mean, I just, I've just got a feeling that we're, we're, you know, we've got a 50-50 chance here of taking out one of your characters. I'm happy yeah. with that. 
So I get to roll. So I have, with my 10 millimeter pistol, you're in the short range, which is all it has, yes. is a black and a green dice with the white dice. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that a miss? Wow. I rolled an eight, as you can see there, and that would have been a fantastic hit. That would have been a fantastic but hit. But I miss. So, yeah. unfortunately, nothing happens. Mm. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. No. In this, okay. <laughs> In the same vein of, of, as Nora, uh, I'm going to get my uh, Scaver Outlaw to fire into this crowd, into this, this duel between the Raider Outlaw and Dogmeat. I quite, I quite like that. It's kind of like a very much like, let's, let's just... Let's kill the dog and eat Kill him. the dog, yeah. This yeah. is fantastic. So uh, he has a pipe pistol. You're within uh, short range, which is one black measurement, which uh, means I get two black dice and I get my skilled dice as well. The Scaver Outlaw has a little bit of a higher chance to hit, uh, so I need to roll six or less. Nine. I roll a nine. <laughs> What's a shame? Uh, we're going to fire again. Because, uh, really? Screw that yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah. you're just going to keep really going for him. It's a seven, and you've got no. That building is taking a pounding now between, you know, <laughs> two of. Uh, we just. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give you. Well, activate it oh. and nothing. So it's, um, it's up to old Ironsides. It's up to <laughs> Ironsides. <laughs> Ironsides. He's now got, got blowers, has he? Okay. <laughs> So yes, now that you're inside my range of my uh, minigun into quite... one, I now go, I actually get, yeah, yeah, I get two dice to roll. And we are now going to go after the big bad. Unfortunately, he's got power armor, but look, yes. we're going to. So I have. Actually. What type of damage do you, you, you just do physical damage as well? Oh, yes. There is no point in me attacking you. Because you always block one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This yeah. is <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but you can continually pick off. I mean, he'll be behind cover. He'll be behind cover. We can still cover. hit them. No, we're going to go for him. We're going to yeah. now. Dogmeat's not in line of sight now. I don't He's think. not though. So, so you don't have to worry about shitting into a crowd. You yes, just have to I'm just worry going about to cover. go with with him. Oh, yeah. I don't have a choice in there. I just realised the oh the power armor is, is quite quite epic. Yes, it's the one counter that we have to iron sides is the power armor. <laughs> Uh, but it's it's why it's so important to then use your cannon fodder raiders to yes, just yes. throw them against this the iron sides, get the power armor through. I was a nine there. I missed on my first shot. So I'm peppering that wall. I missed feel. epically on that one. So that is two out of eight, five. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Three and then extra damage. So okay. we finally two. Yes, because it's the three or less that I need. Yeah. So. So I've ordered three, plus an extra, so therefore I'm doing um, two, two damage to you. Okay, and my Raider Outlaw has two armor, so I need to roll two roll, and he takes both. Oh, that's good. I'm liking that. There we go. There's a, where's a two in here? There's your two. Oh. So he has one health left. And that was my... Was that my third that was, or my fourth? That was your second... Uh, I think you get one more. We'll give you one more anyway. I think it's one. Oh, I get five, don't I? So yeah. That, that was my fourth, was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get one more. Okay. And another miss, an eight. Well, that's a cock dice, so I... I oh, if you want to read it. Okay. Is that why, if, if you lose now, that's going to be why you lost? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, like, something if this goes back to me. So there we go, so they're, they're, they're activated there. So, now your character, does he want to do anything this turn, knowing that dog meat... Um. <laughs> Who goes first in this reaction? Do you go first, then I go afterwards? It's a reaction. Yeah, it's not it's a throw action. No, you get to do it's your a reaction to, what I, yes, to yes. my first action. To your first action? Yeah. So you could shoot and then die. Well, here, so <laughs> I, I, have a, I have an idea, right? And it sounds stupid, but... So I'll tell you what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking, what would a raider do? <laughs> In this circle. And part of me is thinking of just trying to break free of the base-to-base -base combat. How does one break free from the base-to-base -base combat in this game? So... You simply leave, but any uh, model that you're in base base combat with gets another free act, gets a free action. So you, in essence, would get a free action attack from me moving, <laughs> and then you would react yes. with a quick action <laughs> to <laughs> my action. Yes. Um, so I'll probably die. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and dog meat is at full health. If I had a grenade, I would just suicide him. <laughs> just go. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Uh, boom. Bye, doggy. Um, so, because. Yeah. You know what? 
Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, I'm going to break free of base base combat. Are you really going to do that? I'm just going to see what happens because... But yeah, I, I the, got it. I'm going to help you out here. Yeah. If it was me, on yeah. my circumstances, yeah. you have a clear line of sight to but Soul Survivor. I don't and think... she has got taken some significant The damage. way I would see it is that I can't fire outside of... If I'm in base base combat with something because my you're, attention you're is on the dog. Oh, yeah. yeah, that would make sense. Um, and the rusty boy inside me <laughs> believes that there's a chance I might survive that. So I'm going to try it. I love that. That's great. I so that. uh, I'm going to uh, attempt a move. Now, the way that the rules are explained here, a model which is engaged with an enemy model can move out of base base combat. However, each model with which they break engagement also gets an immediate and free quick action attack on them as long as they are not engaged with any other models themselves. If you oh, are, so you just you get have a, multiple ones, then one can disengage whilst the other two could, engage. Yes, okay. but if you were outnumbered and I take one of my guys away, you'll you'll suffer a penalty. Okay. Um, so, uh, before I move, you get your free action for me disengaging. Okay. So this could kill me before I even get anywhere. Um, and it would preserve your other reaction. Which I still get to use because you've done something. Oh, actually, um, you wouldn't because this is my last model. So, because the round would then end, I think your oh, like, fuck it. Yes, your reaction was then expired. Just you in the backside. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we go. Oh! So, <laughs> oh, wow! I, that was a critical failure. That was a chomp and a miss. I missed so your, your he, backside. he does move, and now you get... You could use your reaction, which... I can't attack. I can but move. you can move. I can now move. So you could move into base base combat with him again. Yes. <laughs> and I can charge. <laughs> Flip, I, yes, you can. Because <laughs> I've got the double one, which means. Um, do you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna do something a little bit different in here. I'm okay. gonna do my reaction in here. <laughs> is I'm gonna, I think he's dead. I think I'm gonna mop him up no matter what in the next round. Okay, okay whatever happens. Really? So I'm going to go and charge. And engage your uh, my uh, veteran raider, my, your veteran raider, okay. and of course, then I'm going to add a damage dice, a damage dice okay. to for the next turn, and that's yeah. his turn now done with. Yeah. Now, because that was my my raider's first action, still have another action. He's now going to move again. Oh, he's oh no! And do you want to know something, Ben? I've made a fatal error. You have because, because I get to activate first next. And you've next won. Round. Oh no! <laughs> no. Oh. That's everybody. Everybody has 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 um, activated. Um, the sentry bot is now reloaded with his slow fire weapon. Um, we don't know what's in this event card. It could be. It some could something could happen. Oh, downpour. Uh, the short downpour leaves surfaces slippery. Climbing tests agility at a minus two penalty. <laughs> of the smugness on your face right now. <laughs> I just can't believe that I actually survived leaving that base base combat with dog right me. Um, I had it in my head, it was my turn next, but it's three to three. I even told you this. Yeah. I have no one to blame yeah. but myself here. Now, just, just so we know we're right, we will double check to make sure that I win. Um, <laughs> so but I, oh. I think that's correct. I think... Um, I think when it comes to activations, it's whoever has the least models, and then we simply take it in turns. Um, sorry, a player with the fewest models remaining receives the advantage, excluding first round, or allocated randomly if there's a tie. <laughs> okay, oh, no. so... So, what is the random factor then? Are we going to yeah, be doing so the so way, the way the activation works is that it will always go to whoever has the least models. And then it's random. And then it's random. Now, at the minute we have the same amount of models, and we could just do it back and forth, but it will mean that I win, which is a little bit of a cheesy way to finish the scenario. At the start of each subsequent... So I made a mistake. I got it wrong. I didn't... Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's all on the heart of the advantage token. So the way that it's it's randomly chosen is through the advantage marker. And this is the same way that, for instance, if the sentry bot had a missile launcher, and uh, I think if you fired or if you missed, it's still going to hit something, and this would indicate what it hits. Okay. So we're going to flip... So 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 if this is who it goes, which side it goes This will be who gains advantage. So, so from this side, 
is. Uh, oh no, if it, if it points to you or if it points to. Oh, just at this way to the Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> See, I'm going to say that's me. I would I'm say that's you as well. <laughs> wow, it's about the finest of margins. A millimeter. That was a hair. That was a me. hair. Okay, so so I now have an opportunity to... <laughs> to stop the raider. To stop the raider. To stop the raider. Okay. Um. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tricky because you know you have to hit him. Yeah, so because well, if you told him he's, he's like, done. Who's got the best chance of hitting? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we're going to go with, look, I can hit you with, we've got, we've got Nora. You could probably hit me with anything. <laughs> um, but, how, and, and, and he's only got um, one health. One health left. He has one health. Sure, I'm, I'm, look, we've got five opportunities. Yeah. We started with the minigun. We're going to fail. If it fails, <laughs> then I just, oh, he's got himself to blame. Yes. And he deserves to have his ship stripped it, of all the minigun. It's Captain Ironside's ship. If he can't even see his own ship no, with the minigun, I, I think, he doesn't I think, I think this, this is it. So he's okay. going to go and hope he doesn't pepper that building. As oh. long as he doesn't roll a critical, I believe I have a chance. Yes, that is correct. I, I, I believe it. So we have two dice. So we have you inside that one. So here we go. And the first dice is a critical. And, a critical, and it's extra damage, which means that basically, and I get to roll. Oh, he is, he is so dead. <laughs> He's so dead. <laughs> yes, so you have minus, uh, well, two extra uh, destroying one armor. Yeah. So therefore, then we remove four of your armor. Yeah. And I do two damage. And your no, armor. You do, you do uh, four damage. So three oh damage plus one extra damage minus four armor. Four. He only has two armor anyway. So, so I, he, I, he, he, he's. He, he just gets turned into mush. <laughs> He's about a foot away from a minigun. Is... <laughs> this is... Now, unfortunately for me, yes. that is the end of his turn. Well, he could move. He could move, and I'm going to move. I'm, okay. going, I'm going to... We, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Uh... Mm. Yeah, no, we're gonna move, we're gonna move, we're gonna move. Okay. Because what we're gonna do is we, we, we're going to try and... Oh, you're going for a push? Yeah, yeah, we, we go, we're gonna try and actually just um, make it hard for you to get past me here now. Because mm. we have a blocking there. So now we will flip his weapon icon. I say that he has used his weapon and his turn is. I'm going to make Rusty Boy history. <laughs> the greatest ever comeback in the, in the, in the... So, this little scaver outlaw yes. has seen his friends getting torn to shreds by your sentry bot, yes. by Captain Ironsides. And at this moment, he looks at the veteran raider who's in the power armor, fighting a dog, and he thinks, he's got that. He sees Nora, about blood coming out of every orifice. He's got that, he's fine. That sentry bot's mine. <laughs> So what he's going to do... <laughs> I'm loving the optimism. Bot's mine. This, is, this is it, he's going for the... Because, so he's going to move. Yes. Right clean, open. Uh, and then he's going to move into base base combat with the sentry bot. Oh no. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> because now that he's in base base combat with the sentry bot, the sentry bot has to engage that raider. And if he moves, the raider gets a free attack. Oh, so dear. I've cancelled out the minigun. And that's him activated. Oh, well done. Very well played there. That, was, that, was, that was good. I, Thank I, you. I'm Thank you. Now thinking. What have you done? Captain Ironside's got. Oh, two, it's okay. Two that's it. well, I still have. It's, it's, I know. I number you. I feel mildly yes. positive that something might. But because you outnumber me, I will now activate first each time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we have three rounds. Well, this is our fourth round. Yes, we've got two more rounds after. Yeah. But yeah. But if I, that equally means I've got two rounds to get there. You just have to hold me off for that. Well, that's time. what I'm trying to do, yeah. luckily enough. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm not just... We're not just... We're going to you know, to the shops while you stop. <laughs> I just want to go and get a pint of milk. We're like, yeah, okay, so what do we do now? Because um, basically, you're at full health. Yeah. Both of these guys are at full health. And the Raider power armor, uh, not a scratch. Well, look, let us, let us go. We have dog meat. Mm -hmm. we, we, we're engaging with you here. I'm yep. going to engage and attack you okay. as I've got the extra dice to do so. Okay. So we're going to attempt with dog meat here. Um, and so we have... That's right, you get the extra charge I dice. I do. So I have the white, I have the yellow, I have the green, I have the blue, and I have the black. Every dice that you might need. 
and, and hopefully the critical, which will add some extra. Hopefully. You know. So I roll a three. I have okay. multiple ones like that. And yep. we get a star. Which star gives you your reaction. <laughs> I get a reaction. Sick. <laughs> so I get to do a reaction on him regardless. Yeah. So that is fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I therefore then only do two damage. Two damage. Uh, no. I automatically block one uh, of that. Um, so you'll definitely do, you have a potential of doing one damage. I need to roll a two or less. And you want a one. So no Take. damage. So I then remove my black one because of my yep. charge is now negated. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I'm going to attack you again. Brilliant, I would expect nothing less. Oh. Oh. Da, da, da. Uh, is that a feel? Nine. Nine. But, but the minus one puts it down to eight, eight, which makes it a pass. Makes it a pass. Oh. That was lucky. And I have three, three bottles, bottle icons, which don't do anything to help me because it's a stop it you doing it. Yes. Yeah. So again, it's two damage. Okay. So can we do that again? Oh. No damage. I'm just bouncing off your armor here. The rusty boys had been. You know, they've seen them all dying. They're like. Blood for the blood gods. Uh, uh, or for the rust gods. You know. rust, rust. <laughs> rust for the rust gods. Um, equally, what we'll do, because these guys are close to this building, let's take... Uh, oh no, we'll take... Um, oh yeah, we could do that actually. That'll work. I'll just keep it so we Because I don't think we're going to get into the buildings now. now. I was thinking about doing that. I was trying to get my rears in here, get up to the top floor and shoot down the iron sides and try and pick them off his boat. But, then he got destroyed by a minigun. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this is a, Sorry about that, I do apologize. It's it's great text, I love that. It would have been lovely. It, it would have been lovely. It would have been beautiful. It would have been... Oh, been no, just, yeah, yeah, but it didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen. <laughs> they had big dreams. Uh, little hearts. Um, so... Um, the name of this campaign is Big, <laughs> big Dreams Little hearts. hearts. I tell you what I'm going to do is that this veteran raider She's got the the power armor on. She's like, <laughs> screw it, I will keep on. You know, she's just going to try and move. So, so now I get you okay. get a well, you you have a, a reaction, reaction and then a free action. A free action. So okay. we'll use your free action first, which is the just uh, a normal attack. A normal attack. So I get again. So we get the white dice and then we mm -hmm. get the lovely three colored ones. Yeah, the beautiful dice tray here. So seven. That is a six. pass. Excellent, we remove one of your armor. Yes. And then we get the potential to, to do, do a, a injury. injury. Yeah, let's let's take a quick look at that. So a model with an injured arm suffers a minus two modifier to all skill values uh, and should have a minus two marker placed. Yes, there was a minus. Yes, so I'm, right. obviously only if I land. Obviously, if I don't do any damage to you, I'm guessing I wouldn't actually wound you. Uh, no, I think I think you're probably I would assume that you would do the injury. Anyway, maybe. If you don't do any damage, that's kind of. I suppose oh, it's kind of strange. It's kind of, you have to kind of. It has to kind of. You would have to be damaged to have an injured arm, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 that's the way that I would interpret that one. Yeah. Again, tell us on the okay, comment yeah. sections whether we're right or wrong. So, are you saying that we'll hold off an injured arm until you do damage? Correct. Okay. Is what I would say from so, in there. So, two damage. Yes. I get minus one armor reduction. So you have so to roll a one. I have to roll a one to save my arm. Oh, and we do. <laughs> The three ones in a row, are you serious? I love this riff. It's a brilliant riff. Um, so Let's throw that down. That was, I'll, I'll see if my engine arm. So I do get a move to move oh, there. Oh, and is that not base to base then? Uh, no, no, because he has space to slip through. Oh, see, I tried to block you. Yes, he does. Yes, oh, oh. I'll, I'll give you that. Look at that. Just move, yeah, just move that. Oh, he, yeah. <laughs> he has <laughs> move in his space. Um, uh, but you can use your react. You can use your reaction for a dog meat now if you want it to. Well, of course I'm going to because I can't let you have a free move away. Move. Especially because I'm guaranteed first activation next turn. Correct. Now you can only charge in a straight line, can't you? I cannot charge around a corner. You can charge into line of sight. Ah, so can dog meat see your dude there? I, I well, I mean, ah, so you know, we're gonna have to go. So this is where we're gonna go. It's like this, this is it. <laughs> I mean, he is smaller than <laughs> that barrier, but... <sighs> I mean, look, again, we're going to have to look at that. I, I would say on a I technicality... Mean, I would wanna... say he could because he's pretty tall. So if he was looking at an angle, right? You know, we're looking down the, the armor would, okay. would probably look over it. So we're going to charge. Yeah. Look uh, at it this uh, way. I would say go for it. 
I'm going to charge. So I don't have to measure because we're going to we go. Yeah, to you're get totally within range. So he's going to going to he's going to go round like this. I think <laughs> even if you charge in a straight line with the smaller distance, he would still be within range anyway. Yes, he would be. Yeah. So, so there we go. Well, I get the bonus because of the charge. That's what yes. I'm going to go for there. So, oddly enough, I'm going to go for the black one again. Yeah. So the extra damage dice, just in so, case, because I need to do more damage to try and. Yeah. I'll tell you what my guy's going to do. He's going to move again. He's just going to keep on moving. He's like, dog, get out of my way. I'm leaving. <laughs> this is a nice stop. So. No. <laughs> you don't get your double attack because you haven't got a reaction this time because you spent it getting here, but you do get that extra damage dice if you land an attack. So if you roll for your free but, attack, but, yeah. he'll still move, but you, you still get your attack. Do you think he can go around there, do you think? I'm not physically, <laughs> oh no, he's going to push yourself. Uh, well, I suppose actually that's a fair point. <laughs> this has gone pear shaped, so unless I do some significant mm -hmm. damage to you. Well, he, my guy is guaranteed to move, but Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because... The thing is, if... Oh. It has actually exhausted him. Yeah, so well, basically, it goes down to my sole survivor to do as much damage to you as possible. Mm -hmm. and then I, so, okay, okay. Right. Let's see what I can do. This is, this is, this is all depending on the rolls here, then. Yeah. So I get my black dice as well. Here we go. So I need to get... An eight or less. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the damage reduction! I, yeah. I just, just melted your armor. You would have melted my armor. Oh, wow. <clears throat> he has been spent. And Nora is now the last one to activate. Now, Nora, could could she charge? Is that charge range? No. No. <laughs> well, actually. Ooh, no. No, that know. is because if you move to the end, you oh, wouldn't yes, be within so this charge, space. So I could, yeah. I could try and stop you, but I can't yeah. stop you from moving because I just get an attack. Which is melee. But if you charged, you would. Yeah. 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 I think, sadly. Um, the, the, the power armor has defended, mm -hmm. protected you. So I'm gonna to need to roll some criticals here because yes. you are well within the blue range. I mean, I it, no it, obstacles. It could be possible. It could be possible. If we, we can get, we can get some criticals. We can, we can do some extra damage. You never know. Stranger yeah. things have happened. Not many, but some stranger things have happened. Yeah. So we get a white dice. I get a black dice, and I get a green dice. So yes. I get some potential in here. I need to roll here. Four my pistol is a seven or less. So here we go. First shot. So we rolled that three. Is a, that we is, hit, we yep. hit. Yep. So I do two. Okay. Uh, I don't get so any bonus because I get a funny little symbol. It doesn't help me. I oh. take one damage. I take one <clears> damage. <throat> Actually, I'll, I've got some spares from my my dead through my dead readers. Okay. And then we do the same again. <clears throat> uh, it would take a, a, a fairly big miracle now, and it was going to one. So uh, yeah. it needs to be a basically a critical. Yeah. Yeah, with lots or of, more. <laughs> yeah, with, yeah, with lots, lots of extra damage. Armor. Yeah. Yes. And that's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> so now I get the extra damage and the, this one in here. Okay, yeah. ready. Come on. So we have. Oh! <laughs> so I still don't have enough. Well, let, let's, so let's count, count, count this out here. So you got a critical. Yes. So it's two damage. Plus three on the on the dice. So in here. five damage, and then you remove one of my armor. So, which would arguably be the plus one, shall we say? So okay. then it all comes down to my roll. So I need to roll two or less, <laughs> which I don't. So I take all of the damage. Um, you take a but you have seven health. So I'm down to one, oh, no. one health. No. So it's like, you know what, it is? it's platoon. We've recreated platoon. <laughs> this is Willem Dafoe, yes. the rare version of Willem Dafoe just charging towards the boat, blood bullet holes uh, piercing through the rare power armor. Uh, that is everyone activated. Now we don't know what the event card is. It could get completely scuppered. So let's, that is the round over. And that's, that's round four, right? That is correct, it's round four. Round so here four. We go. So we go. We're gonna go for this now. Go right? for it. Okay, you sure? All raiders die. Um. <laughs> the moist air keeps the dust down. Mm. 
Any green dice tr is treated as minus one. Which doesn't help you or hinder me. <laughs> no, it so doesn't. So because I have fewer models, I activate first. Activate first. I'm going to activate <laughs> my veteran <laughs> yeah, sure raider. Sure, there's going to be a limp. He's only got one wound left. I think. I think the <sighs> captain of the ship. Well played. Well played. Well played. <laughs> well played. I'll be honest. When you, you, you three of my models taken down before I could even get past <laughs> this point. Uh, Honestly, for a moment, thought I had you there. Yeah. I realised what you were doing. I thought, okay, surely if dog meat had landed one of them, or if no one hit the first one, mm -hmm. I would have won that. But you know what? That was really well balanced. That was yeah. so good. That was just literally the roll of the dice. I would have won. Yep. It went your way to, you yep. know, at the end, and you got there. So basically, the other four campaigns you'd set up yes. now don't happen because you won. Kind of, well, uh, the Rusty Boys then get the ship and they go to repair it, um, and then the Rusty Boys seal away into the distance um, okay. on their little pirate ship. Fantastic. Yeah. That, that's a lovely, it's a nice thing into the clouds. Yeah. Beautiful. That's <laughs> oh, the two of them. You know, thinking of the men they've lost yes. along the way, I'm like, oh, if, only, if only Jim, Bob, and, and Jean were here to see this, you know, it's, uh, it's, we well, miss them dearly. Lovely. It would have been lovely. So, what we'll do is obviously, this is our first battle report. Um, We'll edit this together. We'll see how it all comes together. Hopefully, people like it. Yes. Um, let us know any suggestions or, or changes or rule breaks that we completely go right. It could have been that they all say in the comments, Ben should have won that. Sam broke so many rules. That always happens. It I does agree. always, yeah. Or every game we play, yes. Yeah. Uh, equally, what I'll do is all of the things that you see here in play, uh, we'll leave links to where you can find them. Obviously, all the models are on the Tabletop Hub store. Uh, the terrain is all from foreground. The ship that we're using, uh, as the USS Constitution uh, is a 3D STL file that we, we find online and it was printed by Kitbash Studios down in Belfast. I'll leave a link to their website where you can go and uh, get stuff printed by them as well. They're really great. Um, but folks, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you want to play the campaign for yourself, link down in the video description. But commiserations, Ben. Uh, good yeah, luck I'm, next time. Yeah, I'm going to leave the good luck. That uh, yeah, the, that rust, the rusty boys will return. Um, and hopefully these they will... <laughs> We will we'll have some kind of stim packs. Yes. And we will we'll be around. And you will be have. Back for... You will. You'll have more allies. Next time you'll be up against Brotherhood of Steel, the Synths, and the Rusty Boys will be back in the end against a, a fully kitted out robot army. Fantastic. I look forward to it. Brilliant. See you next time.